see that? You see that, guys? Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And today, we're cooking some beautiful carne asada, churrasco, or scrochek, however you want to say it. It's a little windy, so please forgive the wind, but, man, that looks good. I'm going to show you how to do it, so stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we got these beautiful scorches trimmed to the best of my ability. And I took most of the silver skin off, uh, off them as much as possible. But as you can see, I, I went a little too hard and made a hole right here. And that's from this chunk of gunk of fat and silver skin all mixed together, as you can see. This is not gonna be good eats whatsoever, guys. So please discard that. So we're about to marinate these beautiful scorch steaks and we're just gonna let them rest for about a good two or three hours. There it is, guys. The marination process has started. And man, I wish you could smell the aroma, guys. It smells so good. The garlic, the lime, the cilantro, oh man, all infused with that competition smoke from pit bulls along with that Java Chop House. It is beautifully done. It's gonna be so good when we grow these bad boys up in the pit balls also in Excel, guys. So I'm just gonna put the lid on top of them and we're gonna let this marinate for about good two or three hours in the refrigerator. And it's gonna be so, so good. So guys, let's talk about the step-by-step -step process of what we did so far. We took our beautiful churrasco or our skirt sticks and we rinsed it off in the sink nice and clean. And just to make sure there was no excess debris, we took some paper towels and we kind of pat, pat it dry as much as we can. As well, we was patting it dry, we, we kind of, you know, look at the fibers of the meat just to make sure there was no excess bones or any other debris that might be stuck in there. So we've got to practice safe eating and make sure it doesn't contaminate our body. So we want to make sure that we are eating clean and healthy foods, guys. And guys, that marination that we did for these beautiful, we call it the moho, uh, for this beautiful skirt stick, oh man. It's just a little bit of everything, my version of it. We rough chopped some uh, garlic, some uh, green onions and some cilantro and just threw it all together with some grapeseed seed oil, the cumin, the oregano and the pit bulls, java chop house along with the competition smoke, some orange juice. Oh man, 
it, it, it was just a perfect blend of marination for these beautiful churrascos or skirt sticks that we call them. Oh man, guys, it's gonna be so good. Now we're just gonna let this marinate, like I said, two to three hours, and it's gonna be so good when we fire it out that pit bull post in Excel. So y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Yeah. All right guys, so it's time to turn the power on, and we're gonna take it to the smoke setting. And we're gonna open our lid, as always, and yes, I don't have any foil on this, guys, because I'm planning to uh, do a nice sear on some steaks later on, and we're gonna open our smokestack. And we're just gonna wait for the rolling smoke to come on through, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, I got rolling smoke and fire, and I don't know, but well, there you go. Clear it up now. So as you can see, I got rolling smoke and fire going on at the same time. And also, guys, I took the liberty of moving the uh, sear gun shield all the way to the right side. And time to for me to shoot it right here in order to sear our skirt sticks. And I'm gonna close the lid so it can warm up, and we're gonna crank this baby on high. That's 500 degrees, guys. Oh, yeah. And we're just gonna let this come up the temp. All right, guys, by the dome temperature, it's getting nice and hot at this point. So while we're cranking these temperatures up to a beyond 500 degrees, let's talk about our step-by-step -step process of how we're gonna cook this churrasco or skirt steak, or carne asada, as some people might like to call it. It's a very simple process, guys. It's a very thin steak. It's not gonna take no more than a two and a half minutes, maybe three tops, that's it. We want a medium, rare, type of consistency and this is gonna help us do that so guys y'all stay tuned because like I said two to three minutes that is it all right guys I don't know if you could see the smoke coming down right here and our uh, dome thermometer is reading about 650 at this point and we're gonna test the temperature inside because we got a trusty infrared thermometer that we're gonna use to see what the actual temperature is inside so let's take a look guys oh yeah oh man that's hot so we're just gonna point it. So we're reading about 538, guys. See that? Yeah. We're just gonna remove the limes. And this is gonna be a quick process, guys. As I stated earlier, it's gonna take no more than two to three minutes. And matter of fact, I'm just gonna cook one at a time. So we're gonna count to about one and a half minutes and we're gonna flip it. And as you can see guys, I don't need no oil because it's already packed with uh, great sea oil in there. And man, you can't tell me that all good guys. All right guys, we're coming upon about one minute at this point. All right, one and a half minutes. Oh man, it looks so good, guys. Now this is how you do churrasco, skirt steak, or carne asada on the Pit Boss Austin Excel. This is exactly how you do it. All right, guys, almost that time for me to get it done because it's almost done. Take a look at that, guys. That is it. That is it, guys. This is what I'm after, just like that. That is it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna cook the other one, and then we'll meet you back in the kitchen. All right, guys, as you can see, we have some beautiful skirts, churrasco, carne asada, and look at those beautiful char marks. Oh, man. So, as always, it's cut down right in the center. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Man, oh, man. Look at this one, guys. Wow. Perfectly medium rare, guys. This is what I'm talking about right there. Man, oh, man. And as always, guys, you want to cut against the grain. The grain is going this way. And, whew. Take a look at that. 
perfectly cooked, man. I told you, three minutes, that's it. All right, so it's time for the best part of the entire video, which is what the taste says. Man, oh man. Spur steaks, carne asada, churrasco, however you want to pronounce it from wherever you're from. This is done beautifully on a pit boss authentic cell. Man, let's do a quick recap of what we did so far, guys. All we did, we took our skirt sticks, we washed it off nicely clean in the sink, and then we made some beautiful mojo sauce, man, and that, that marinade, whew, that was phenomenal. Make sure you go do that, guys. You can even do that for about an hour and grill up. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. So guys, we marinated for about two to three hours just to make sure it got nice and flavorful. We took it to the grill. We definitely grilled it on the pit bull sauce in Excel with the cast iron pan. Man, that was phenomenal. You've seen the char monks on the previous clip and it's time to eat this beautiful churrasco. Skirt steak, we're calling it outside, however you wanna say it. Man, take a look at that guys. Perfectly done, medium rare, this is the way I like it. If you like it more than well uh, done, I mean, that's on you guys, but this is the way I'm eating my Stick. Oh man, yes sir. Mm. Make sure you cut against the grain, guys. Oh man, this is so juicy, so tender. It melts in your mouth. Wow. This is my happy face, <laughs> man. Guys, always cut your skirt sticks against the grain. Wherever the grain runs, just cut against it. That's it. Oh man, it was perfectly done, perfectly seasoned. That mohaw sauce is coming through. The orange juice, the limes, the garlic, the cilantro. Oh man, all those flavors, cumin, along with the, the uh, pit balls, Java Chop House, and the uh, smoke competition is definitely there, guys. Definitely give this recipe a try. Man, I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, if you like barbecue and grilling, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so so far. Share this video with all your family and friends, and until next week, guys. Oh man, I gotta have another piece. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, pit message privilege. I'll see you next week, guys. This is smoking jazz barbecue. Peace.